What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be reviewing Superman Ultimate Flight at Six Flags Over Georgia. And this review could also apply to the other Superman Ultimate Flights located at Six Flags Great Adventure and Six Flags Great America. I've only written the version at Six Flags Over Georgia, but I feel like it's a good idea to do a review. I think I could, I, I have a good feel for this one, so let's get started. First we're going to start with the statistics. Um, as a height of 106 feet goes 51 miles per hour, as a drop of 100 feet, length of 2,798 feet of track, opened on April 6, 2002, has two inversions, has a good three Gs, um, and also is built by B&M, so yeah. Now, going into this roller coaster, this coaster is a clone. It is a cloned around most, there's all, is three of the clones of, and yeah, um, these ones are kind of underwhelming to me. They are good, but um, they're fun. These rides aren't really as intense as like some of the other flying coasters, like Tatsu, Manta, Flying Dinosaur. Um, it's, I would, I'd say it's even more graceful than intense. But I mean, these rides are fun. If you haven't ridden a flying coaster, you definitely should. Like, and this is a good flying coaster. I'm not hate trying to hate on this one. This was pretty good, but. I was kind of disappointed with this roller coaster. I understand it's a clone, and it, I mean it was fun and all, but I mean, I was I was expecting it to be a bit more intense. Like I mean the pretzel loop still was pretty intense, but just didn't have the same kick as some of the other BNMs I've ridden. Well, let's dig into the ride real quick. So, what's different about Six Flags Over Georgia's version is that it has a double loading station. I went when I went to Six Flags Mer sorry Six Flags were, when I went to Six Flags Over Georgia twice last summer they were only operating one of the uh, stations so I'm not sure if they even use the second station but yeah um, so yeah you basically um you get in um like you would on a flying coaster um, and then you you go down it doesn't have like the same noise as Manta does like where it's like Shh, it's not like that um but yeah then you move out of the station you go up a lift hill and then after, once you Exit left till you go down like a curved drop, which is a nice curved drop. Doesn't have as much whip as Manta. Then you go into the pretzel loop here, um, which pretzel loops are very, very intense. And they're my favorite coaster versions. This one just didn't have the same oomph or like didn't have the same kick as Manta does. Um, I mean, I grayed out a little bit during the pretzel loop, but it wasn't like absolutely wild. If you want a, a part loop that'll just make you black out, I'd say ride Manta in the back row. Really. I mean, yeah, this one just wasn't like, as intense as Manta. I understand Manta's a lot larger than this one. This one's not the biggest coaster out there. But, I mean, it's not even, like, the most intense omen I've experienced in my life. Um, but, yeah, so afterwards, it'll go through a little um, turn, like a little, like, yeah, which is nice. And then you go through... A few other turns, and then another turn, and then this next part is really core here. You go through a tunnel, and then through this little helix, um, which actually you're very low to the ground. On the other two Superman flying clones, um, on the other Superman clones, you're not like that. Like you don't go through a tunnel, and then the final helix is like, like, like close to the ground. That's not. You only get that with Six Flags Over Georgia's. So then afterwards, you go through another twist, and then hit the brakes, and rides over. So, overall, what do I think of Superman Ultimate Flight? I think it's pretty good overall. I do like this coaster. It's definitely better than the Vacoma Flying Coasters, but it's nothing to rave about, in my opinion. It's nothing to write home about, but, I mean, it is fun. Definitely much better than the Vacomas, um, but not quite as on the level of Manta. So, overall, like, so what am I giving Superman out of 10? Superman will be receiving an 8 out of 10, because this ride is good. It is pretty good, but it's not my favorite flying coaster I've ridden. It's not even my favorite coaster of Six Flags in Georgia. It makes my top three, definitely. I definitely, I definitely really enjoyed it, but it's not... I didn't, like, think it was as good as I thought it would be. So that will do it for this um, review. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Comment down below what are your thoughts on Superman Ultimate Flight. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and more reviews in the future. Also, don't forget to check out the social media link, which will be in the description below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Have a theme-tacular day.